to this. This is interesting that they responded. Thank you for responding. Finally, after two fucking. So weeks. I heard though that they were maybe uh, it was almost like a kind of rogue employee situation where like they were the executives were saying that they didn't sign off on this. I call bullshit. Yeah, altogether. That could I, be an excuse. I think yeah. they fucking. I think this blew back in their face. Yeah. Honestly, I think this is a. They're trying to walk in this one, Doc. Yeah. yeah, I think what happened is you know you took a gamble. And you went, hey, let's just see if the transgendered fucking people drink beer. <laughs> and you found out. Turns out they don't. They don't fucking drink beer. <laughs> they drink smoothies. There's a lot. Of, there's not a lot of NASCAR fucking watching transgender people. They drink people. pumpkin spice lattes <laughs> from Starbucks. <laughs> wrong those, by the way. <laughs> they're good. They're, 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 they're tasty. quite tasty. Yes. But listen, know your fucking role. Know your audience. Know your audience, Anheuser yeah. Busch. Yes. And, but they're like they're like um, almost pandering to a younger audience because that's kind of the Dylan Mulvaney thing is is it's it's weird it's it's an attack on kids almost is I think what a lot of people feel that it is. Well, it's all an attack on kids. It's like everything. It's like so when you when you hear this fucking dickhead talk on TikTok and wherever the fuck else he is, he's talking to kids. He's like, oh, day fucking twenty seven yeah. of being a girl, and it's a bunch of bullshit. And it's it's very childlike, so people so kids are watching and it seems cool. You're like, oh, well, it's like he's not saying anything weird. Yes, he is. He's talking about some fucking weird shit for your kids, okay? And now the fact that Bud Light, uh, a beer company that's supposed to be uh, advertising to adult fucking humans, yeah, they they were saying this chick was saying that she wants to get away from like the the frat. Uh, party sort of scene and to to me that's like man like that's the scene you want buying your beard Th- those are the guys that are buying case after case after yeah, case like she I th- and I think also she's... she got caught partying yeah yeah there was like, that she point. got caught and it was a whole controversy she's like we want to go away from that but th- that's her well I, I feel like it's like how do you make your mark if you're this yeah. chick and you're like a vp of some bullshit marketing you're like how do i somehow uh, make a mark in Bud Light, who is the what 30, 30 to forty percent leader in light beer across the globe, essentially. How do I make a mark? I'm just gonna fucking shift it up because I don't give a shit. I don't own. I don't own anything. I don't own shares in this company. I'm just a VP of marketing, and I'm gonna uh, fuck it up. She might. I think, yeah, just, I think she just, she might get she might get equity out of. Uh, I think they're just trying to pander to the wokeism movement. And they're just blow back, oh, a hundred percent. Blow back in their yeah. face. Hundred percent. They're 100%. just they're going after that, and they yeah. they feel like that like it's a bigger group of people well, than such, it is. Really, it's just a bunch of fucking retards but running such around. There's saturation in the wokeism now that I think people are really getting fed up with it. So the timing of it's like couldn't be worse. By the way, yeah. Sorry, I gotta stop right here. We didn't actually introduce our. Yeah, so I we, did. Do we 100% introduce ourselves? I did. I told him he's asymmetric oh. alpha oh, from the chat okay. in the past. Yeah, right. Well, Art has been I on the podcast that. before. Sorry, I didn't. Get he's been in our chat it's, a it's lot. Alzheimer's. Yeah, yeah. That's Alzheimer's. Or, or beer. Or beer. Beer. No, no beer. that's your or first beer, though. Yeah. Oh, it's like second, maybe, yeah. maximum. Yeah. Uh, Art, second sip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Art has been in our, has actually been on our podcast before. It's been a long time. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Talking about cryptocurrencies and such. So Art has a very unique perspective on everything uh he tends to think like we do so i just wanted to uh bring everybody up to speed that you were actually uh a watcher of the show and you know and not a just contributor he's a contributor a contributor yeah you're not just somebody we, just- we've definitely gone derailed from things that he said in the chat that oh, have sent us on oh, God, <laughs> a ton of times we'll go on a whole fucking thing about something that he says <laughs> art will fuck us up We'll be talking about something in bank. We're talking about something different. Thanks, Artie. Yeah. Thanks, Art. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this uh, Bud Light thing. I, you know, is that all we have to say? No, no. I think we have more to say. Apparently, it lost something like six point something. Yeah, but dollars. that's no. Okay, that's market cap for for right. starters. That's not money. I think, I think it's equivalent to like three or three and a half percent. Yeah, which. It's not a large amount, but it's six million dollars. If you have a six billion, no, but hold on. But you're like, okay, three uh, percent of a large number is a big number still. Like you're talking about six billion dollars. Yeah, but it's, but but when you think about market cap and 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 the stock market, large companies fluctuate massively a lot. Sure. 
You know, like a stock like Apple will fluctuate a lot but, more than on. this. Would they, you not say that Anheuser Busch is more of a blue chip company? Uh, arguably, yeah. yeah. Right, but so I would for argue them to that fluctuate that much, that much in a week is a big, big deal. That still, to me, doesn't feel like a lot, especially it was a day that the market was down. No, I, I, I agree. In general, you, you can. I think the spy was down. It's a big out, one day movement, right? I, I think anytime it was, you look at anything like that, you can say. I hey, think spy itself was down one point two percent. That's the S and P five hundred. Yeah. Right. So that's not that. This is my my gripe with 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 when people jump on this kind of thing about stocks and maybe the stock drop was entirely because of this. But people often jump on, you know, something will happen and then the stock will go down, but it will correlate with a market drop and in reality the stock will not have gone down all that much, but because it's a big company, the market cap's huge, so the amount that the stock went down correlates to a huge amount of money. Technically, let's be real. And people jump on that bag bandwagon. Hey, we had an up market. The last week's been pretty much in our up market. So to yeah, have but the an day that market, it went down, but to have an up market and then have a down blue chip stock is a big deal. You, well, no, because it was down the day that the market was down. Yeah, but I mean, overall for the whole week, it's down like three and a half percent. I think it's going to recapture. I mean, its value. I'll tell you I mean, how, exactly how much is down. Think there's any permanent ramifications from no, that, that decision but and i agree like i think i think what's happening is you have like this semi overreaction to something that's happening and i think okay. like for here's, example here's we're here's your Bud reality we're here's your Bud reality Bud Light, right? on the week it's down 0.77% is that it that's what yeah, is yeah, down on covered. the week that's so covered. um can can you see this no you can't well maybe if i hold it right i'm having a hard time is adjusting it Okay, there you go. You can see that there's a jump and a drop and a recovery. And you might not be able to see the numbers, but week over week is down 0.77%. But hold on. I'm going to compare that, though, to the S&P 500. Hold on, though. Why did the CEO... Which is up 0.44%. Why did the CEO talk about it? Though? Probably because they, they, walk it back. they well, I'm heard... Saying, so they see something. They <laughs> Mike's here. <laughs> Mike! What's up, hey. Mike? Oh. Yeah! Art joined us, yes. Yes, yes Mike. Yes, Mike. So, okay, so if, if uh, so the CEO the is talking, The S&P 500 though, up, is the up The CEO 1. is talking 4, 4, 4. about it, though. That means they see something. They're they reacting. See, they see backlash, but let's let's stick on the on the one point for a minute. It's down 0.77 while, while the S&P is up 1.14. I still feel like or that's... Or 4, 4. I still feel like that, that's kind of big for a blue chip stock. Blue chip stocks don't move much. No, blue chip they do. stocks don't move much at they all. They move that no. much. They move no, that much. because they fluctuate that much. Yes, but blue chip stocks. When you buy buy a blue chip stock, you expect a very conservative and very um, predictable increase. Anheuser Busch is a blue chip stock, so the fact that they're moving. I mean, you. No, they move a lot. I don't know I what know, to tell you. On. I watch the markets day over day. It it it's not. To move 0.77% in a week is not, it's but nothing. First it's week. literally this is nothing. the first week. Maybe they move more. All I'm saying is, okay, so why don't you talk about a little bit about the uh, CEO uh, mentioning. Yeah, and that's relevant to what Mike just said, that the Bud Beer won't be the drink in NASCAR or the NFL. Yeah. That's, I think, what they're seeing. I think they're seeing these massive contracts or sale opportunities that might evaporate these because are the of things this. like okay so for bud light right if they have let's say let's say let's just use their numbers 40 percent of the the light beer market if something like this like they are a massive ship right so if if this kind of thing happens i think the changes that you're going to see are going to be slower than than the actual realistic movement of the market essentially so you're going to so like it's going to react a bit it, delayed. I think most of their money comes from contracts yeah. that may not be renewed. Right. You know. That's what I mean. So a lot a of, this of this stuff could end up happening after the fact and then you could see this this massive drop yeah. in market share over the next couple of weeks. Well that's why the CEO had to say something cuz right. he felt compelled to speak and obviously yeah. he's going to lose some well, th there must have been so much backlash. People, yeah. you know, sending emails, saying stuff, boycotting and the I mean, videos going viral of people like shooting beer. Let's put this back to the real. 
we just bought a bunch of Bud Light today, okay? I'm not a proponent of putting an end to companies that take like woke uh, stances on stuff. I don't like it, obviously. I don't want my company, my fucking beer company to take a woke stance on anything. Just fuck off. Brew some beer and I like to drink it and cool. But at the same time, if you do, I'm not going to be like, oh, I'm done drinking that fucking beer. Like, I think most rational people are going to are going to say, like, I disagree with that. I think it's stupid, but I'm not going to I like the beer. So I'm going to continue to drink the beer. The the whole idea of this is the 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 cultural uh, movement, if you will, this cultural push that now we feel like in order to push back on this this woke agenda that these companies are taking, we're going to we're going to boycott their products. I think that's kind of, I think it's kind of dumb. I mean, if, if your idea is, is a short-term idea to sort of say, Hey, don't do that. Then, okay. I get it, I guess, but it's like cutting your nose off to spite your face. I'm going to now stop drinking a beer that I really enjoy drinking because they take a political uh, uh, position that I don't like. That feels dumb to me. I, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to do that. So I understand people that are going to do it and I get, I, I'm like, Hey, maybe you're like a stronger person than I am and you'll do that. And cool, I guess, you know, maybe you, you'll make the moves that I wish I could make, but fuck it. I'm drinking Bud Light Lime because I like Bud Light Lime. I, I think, uh, I think it's just their timing because it's just now I think a lot of people have been become saturated with the woke movement and maybe they started doing this campaign during the incipient stages of wokeism and they'd be better received by people but you know that could that could be a factor too i think it's just timed it the wrong way but again and it also timing the wrong kind of company you know yeah it's i i honestly think it's like it's anytime uh the right gets i say the right because like realistically let's just say it's the right even though it's more moderate to right gets this uh chance or opportunity to attack a left movement they they get hyper on it so they're like, hey, oh, this is our chance to try and put an end to this bullshit. But I, I don't think it's really putting an end to it. I think that you're you're taking a, a situation, like, let's just use this for a specific. You're taking a situation with, with Anheuser-Busch where, like, the right enjoys this product. So now what, what you're going to say, oh, because this small little hiccup in advertisement <laughs> in this, this, you know, this whatever this fucking protocol you've run is going to now end your uh, decision to utilize this product. I, I just think it's stupid. I, so I'm not going to do it, but at the same time, I hope that Bud Light walks it back or sorry. And as Bush walks it back and says, Hey, you know what? We're not going to get political. And we're definitely not going to fucking crush our base of the people that we generally are buying our product. You know, people like us, right? But I'm not going to be the one to jump on this cancel culture that the left seems to adopt so easily, right? <laughs> that's that's just my point. I mean, and I'm not shitting on it. Again, if somebody decides, hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna boycott Anheuser Busch because of their political whatever position, sure. yeah. Um, okay, cool. But you know, I, I just hope Anheuser Busch says, hey, you know what? We didn't mean it that way. We didn't mean to to fuck with our base. We just want to say, hey, we would like to increase our market share and we want to be inclusive to everyone. And hopefully our message is to say, hey, we're inclusive of everything and whatever the cultural shift is, but we're not going to shit on anybody who's buying our product. But we'll see. We'll see how they 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 react to it. What did he actually say, though? So if you, can you go through it and actually read what he said? Go down a little bit further. I think he says... We never okay. intended to be part of a discussion that divides people. Uh, what was said in a statement Friday, we are in the business of bringing people together over a beer. I mean, that's... No, a, they're in the business of expanding market share. Sure. Yeah, what was business. said that he is responsible for mm -hmm. ensuring every customer uh, consumer feels proud of the beer we brew 
uh, and that the company proudly supports our communities, military, first responders, sports fans, and hardworking Americans everywhere. I don't see the necessity of that. Yeah, for you. I mean, okay. How about how about this? Here, I'll give you. I'll give you Anheuser Busch. I'll give you your fucking your your um, advertising slogan. Just say, hey, we produce a beer we've been producing for a long fucking time, and you like it. And we'll continue to produce that beer. You can and, just call it a beer for everyone. Right. You don't have to be specific. Right. You don't have to include, you know, do weird shit. If you like you the taste like, of our beer. Bud Light, a beer for everyone. A beer yeah. for the people. Like we're, Something we're like not, that. We're not shitting then, on anyone. You know, you do, you do like a beer scene the after scene after scene of like, like a sports fan. And you can even include fucking weird shit in there too if you want. Just cut, cut, cut of different types of people in different walks of life. I think the funny thing about it is... The, there's two. Beer? Yeah, grocery. Yes, yes, please, sir. There's 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 a, a segment of people that will drink beer, and like you'll be sports fans, you'll be whatever, UFC fans, uh, fucking NASCAR, country music, whatever the fuck it is. But you don't give a shit. Thank you. About inclusivity, essentially. So it's like, okay, are we inclusive on whatever? No, we're just a fucking beer company. We just make a beer. It tastes good, especially this one, by the way, Bud Light Lime. Delicious. Thank you. It's pretty good. Thank you, Anheuser Busch. In the summer, this is a stupid. Dangerously good. Yeah. If anybody hasn't, anybody's watching this, hasn't drank this, take a fucking taste. You go, that's stupid. On a segue, do you remember when we first tried? This? Oh yeah, yeah. We, we just talked about it. Randy's place. Randy's place. We were doing some <laughs> yeah. fucking. We we're doing construction. KFC, bucket of KFC, and bucket beer. KFC and beer. And we, that sounds like a great we had conversation. Bud Light Lime and some other. I can't remember the other one was. Was it uh, Miller Light? Maybe was it? I thought it was this Bud Light. No, no, we had two two twelve packs and we yes. crushed the twelve pack of Bud Light Lime because yep. it was so fucking good. And we were like, ah oh, shit. Now we got to drink the other one. <laughs> we crushed this one at first because we thought it was me shit. Yeah. And then we were like, oh, the other one's like shit compared to, the, yeah. to this one. So my point is, Anheuser Bush, please get off the fucking political spectrum. Just make good beer, which you do. And don't exclude anybody. Include everybody. Use use fucking Tyler. Tyler will give it to you for free, right? That's uh, that's a free statement. You can use it. Well, all right. Listen, you might have to negotiate with Tyler. But <laughs> But I'll talk. You can have negotiations. I, you you have to pay him very little. Like let's be real, he's he's cheap. You can pay him very little, like, under a hundred thousand. That's like nothing to you. Just make good beer and include everybody. Just say, hey, we're into fucking everybody drinking our beer. We don't give a shit if you have a dick, pussy, uh, gut hole. Say, you have a fucking a hole somebody made. Whatever the fuck, a hole somebody made. <laughs> Whatever the fuck you're into, drink our beer. And we're happy about that. Let's get off this fucking political shit. All right? That's it. That's all I have to say.